As of now, Amazon has more robot employees than human ones. Over 1 million robots are now working in Amazon warehouses, nearly matching the number of human workers on its payroll. For years, people have worried that robots and AI would take their jobs and they'd be fired and replaced overnight. But what's actually happening is more subtle and more concerning to me, because in most cases I have seen, humans are not being pushed out immediately. But when they retire, resign, or quit, they're being replaced by machines instead of other people. That slow and quiet shift is how automation is transforming workplaces Places around the world. In fields where automation has taken root, new hires are becoming rare. At Amazon, robots now handle everything from sorting items and moving packages to picking products from shelves. The company's robot Vulcan can autonomously select items from different areas and prepare them for shipping. And remember, Last month, we posted about their plan to use humanoid robots to do home package deliveries. With 75% of Amazon's deliveries now handled in some way by robotics, it's no surprise that the number of people per warehouse has dropped to a historic low. Just a few years ago, a typical facility might have had over a thousand employees. Now, that number averages around 670. Despite the lower headcount, Amazon's productivity has exploded. Each employee is now associated with the shipment of nearly 3,900 packages per year, compared to just 175 in 2015, because AI and robots are doing most of the heavy lifting. As robots become smarter and more versatile, Amazon says it will need fewer people to perform the same functions. In fact, the memo from leadership suggested that headcount would gradually decline over the next few years. And it won't be from mass layoffs as some of you think. Instead, it will be from not replacing roles that machines can now do better. To be fair, Amazon is not ignoring its current workers. It has trained over 700,000 employees to work alongside robots or become robot technicians. But training programs don't change the long-term math. Fewer jobs will exist in the future that don't involve working with or maintaining automated systems. For today's adults already in the workforce, that might not feel like an immediate threat. But the bigger problem looms for future generations. Our children could graduate into a world where many of the entry-level jobs that once provided a stable income, a foot in the door, or simply a chance to begin a career no longer exist.